This video was made possible by Mizizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit MiziziShop.com for more information. It is common knowledge that the Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, and China have fostered a robust and mutually beneficial relationship for decades. China has been the DRC's largest trading partner and source of foreign investment for years, with trade heavily focused on resource exchange. The DRC benefits from China's infrastructure development projects, including roads, bridges, and hospitals, funded through Resource for Infrastructure deals. China, in turn, secures access to the DRC's vast mineral wealth, particularly cobalt, crucial for its tech industry. This cooperation extends beyond resources, with China providing scholarships, medical aid, and agricultural expertise to the DRC. And now these cordial partners have written the latest chapter in their storied history of cooperation by revamping a nearly two decades old minerals or infrastructure contract that is set to offer more benefits of up to $7 billion to the DRC in exchange for its resources. What are the terms of this contract? And why is the DRC renegotiating its Minerals for Infrastructure Agreement with China? In today's video, we will shed more light on these questions and many more. Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. On Saturday, January 27, 2024, the Democratic Republic of Congo and its Chinese investors announced in a statement that the DRC is set to receive $7 billion in financing, mainly intended for the construction of national roads, as part of a revamped minerals for infrastructure contract with China. The accord will give the DRC's state miner Jekamines a 1.2% royalty on the proceeds of a copper cobalt venture known as Psychomines and the right to market 32% of its output. Moreover, both parties will co-manage the Busanga power plant, with 60% of the shares for the Chinese party and 40% for the DRC. This current agreement is an updated version of a Minerals for Infrastructure document signed in April 2008 between then-DRC President Joseph Kabila and the Chinese government. Under that agreement, Chinese partners committed to building roads and hospitals in exchange for a 68% interest in the joint venture of Congo's national mining corporation Jekamines. Chinese investors also promised to spend $3 billion on infrastructure projects. However, after more than 15 years, the DRC, now led by the recently re-elected Felix Chisakiti, has taken China back to the negotiation table to restructure the past Minerals for Infrastructure contract to ensure that Congo gets more value for its resources. Chisakiti has always maintained that the multi-billion dollar deal made by his predecessor, which gave China 68% of a major mining stake in exchange for Chinese partners promising to invest $3 billion into building roads, hospitals, and schools, disproportionately benefited China over the Democratic Republic of Congo. The DRC's president has repeatedly said that his country upheld its side of the bargain by allowing China access to its vast resources, but China did not uphold its end of the agreement because only about a third of the $3 billion that it was supposed to give to Congo for infrastructure projects was really paid out. Consequently, Shusakedi instructed his government to hold talks with the investors ahead of a visit to China in May 2023. He had aimed to boost DRC's stake in the joint venture to 70% from 32%. Many experts and Pan-African observers alike are lauding Chisakiti's bold move to renegotiate the old minerals for infrastructure deal so the DRC can get more money from its resources for development. It would interest you to know that the Democratic Republic of the Congo stands as one of the wealthiest countries globally in terms of natural resources, with an abundance of minerals that play pivotal roles in modern industries. Notably, the DRC claims the title of the world's largest producer of cobalt, a critical component in rechargeable batteries for electric vehicles and electronic devices, thus positioning itself at the forefront of the rapidly expanding green energy and technology sectors. 
Furthermore, the nation ranks as the third largest copper producer globally, adding to its economic significance. Beyond cobalt and copper, the DRC possesses extensive reserves of tantalum, tin, gold, and diamonds, further solidifying its status as a resource-rich nation. Even the fertile earth holds immense potential, with the DRC harboring 10% of the world's arable land and boasting exceptional biodiversity within its rainforests, the second largest on earth. Sadly, despite the DRC's immense wealth and natural resources, the country has tragically experienced prolonged periods of conflict and war, leading to profound instability and economic impoverishment. The competition for control over valuable resources, including minerals like coltan, diamonds, and gold, has fueled internal conflicts involving various armed groups and neighboring countries. These conflicts, spanning decades, have not only resulted in widespread human rights abuses, but have also hindered the development of stable governance and infrastructure. The unfortunate consequence is that the DRC, instead of flourishing from its resource wealth, has faced economic challenges and underdevelopment, hindering its potential for growth and leaving many of its citizens in poverty. However, under the leadership of Felix Chisakiti, the Democratic Republic of Congo is now determined to shake off its image as a resource-rich yet struggling nation. Recognizing infrastructure as a key driver of development, the government has gone on an ambitious and aggressive infrastructure project spree, aiming to connect people, goods, and opportunities across the vast country. A recent notable milestone is the unveiling of a state-of-the-art financial center in the DRC's capital, Kinshasa, a testament to the country's commitment to modernization. Constructed by the Turkish firm Novest at a cost of $290 million, this project represents a significant investment in creating a conducive environment for economic growth. Beyond the financial center, the DRC has pursued various other infrastructure initiatives, including improvements in transportation networks, energy production, and telecommunications. Such endeavors aim to catalyze economic development, attract foreign investment, and ultimately transform the DRC into a developed and thriving nation. The government's proactive stance on infrastructure underscores a strategic vision to capitalize on its abundant resources and propel the country towards sustainable progress. As such, the Democratic Republic of the Congo's decision to renegotiate its Minerals for Infrastructure deal with China, securing a commitment of $7 billion, aligns seamlessly with the government's overarching strategy of transforming the nation through robust infrastructure projects. As the DRC places a paramount emphasis on infrastructure development to unlock its economic potential, the move to extract more favorable terms from the revised agreement reflects a shrewd approach. By leveraging its abundant mineral resources, the DRC ensures that Chinese investment translates into accelerated development, enabling the completion of vital projects across the country. This bold step demonstrates the government's proactive stance in maximizing the value of its resources for the benefit of its citizens. The renegotiation serves as a commendable model for other African nations, highlighting the importance of assertiveness in resource negotiations to secure more favorable deals for comprehensive and rapid national development. Your Perspective Matters what do you make of the DRC renegotiating the terms of an old minerals for infrastructure agreement with China to get more money for development projects? Share your insights and thoughts in the comments below. For continued updates on global affairs and diplomatic developments, be sure to subscribe to the New Africa channel. Stay informed, stay engaged. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content in the future.